tranquility of rural England shattered by civil war, evil was spawned at a time of strife in the land. Take him, Stern. Look for the devil's marks upon him. Right. Over, you do. Pounding the innocent in violence and terror, this evil man showed no mercy in the pursuit and interrogation of his victim. He was called the Witch Finder General. And amidst the horror of the witch hunt, a story of tender young love. Didn't your uncle just say you must early to bed? Yes, he did. Isn't he a wise man? Yes. But even their innocence is cruelly corrupted by the vile touch of the Witch Finder General. My motive in coming here was to find the truth. Vincent Price is the Witch Finder General. Lust and greed where his only God. The money from the magistrate. Nine guineas in silver. Good. Now we can leave. Ian Ogilvy as Richard Marshall. He stood alone against the forces of devilish destruction. And it is in thy sight, O Lord. Like him, I swear. I shall not rest from the pursuit of his murderers. So I stand before him, ready to answer to thee for their sins. Rupert Davies as John Lowe. Master Marshall, welcome. Patrick Weimar as Oliver Cromwell. <laughs> Amongst the most pleasurable aspects of victory, gentlemen, is the opportunity it affords to reward valor. It racks almost with good food. And Wilfred Bramble. And uh, what line of business might you be interested? God's business. Witch finding. Witch finding. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. And introducing Hilary Dwyer as Sarah. Filmed in authentic detail and photographed with piercing realism against the actual background of peaceful villages and quiet countryside. Never has England looked so beautiful, yet been so violent. I'm your man, friend. John Stern, they call me. Man's inhumanity to man portrayed on the screen so vividly that you flinch. So we 